Hey guys, welcome back to another reaction. So today we have Mavis. Um, the new the song is called Limerick and um, it's featuring Lila Gruber. I hope I'm not I'm not chopping it up from the venues. I actually like the venues. Um, funny enough, like when I was just starting to get back into listening to uh, to more to more music again, like um, the venues is one of the first little bands that I actually started listening to because they just popped up my YouTube feed. But anyways, I just want to give a quick shout out to Mavis because um, I saw that they commented it in my previous video. Like, uh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you guys see this one too. Um, but anyways, we're going to jump into this one. This is Mavis's Limerant. I feel like I'm not Limerant or Limerant. I feel like it's Limerant, but I could be saying it wrong. But yeah, we're going to check this one out and see what they're talking about. Um, the first two songs I've actually really enjoyed from uh, Mavis. So I'm sure this one will be good as well. I've done two songs by them, I think. I think it's been two songs. I gotta see. I'll check at the end of the video and see if that's what it is. I know I've done at least one, but I think I've done two because I liked another song from Mavis, but we'll see. Okay, I kind of want to talk about his singing, bro. Like, his singing sounds so good, dude. What the hell? Uh, maybe I just haven't really noticed it in the, in the other two songs that I've listened to. But like, I know for a fact that the last song, what's it? I think it was mostly screaming. I could be wrong about that. Um, I think it was mostly screaming, though. Pretty sure it was mostly screaming. <laughs> I'm just trying to go off my memory right now. Uh, my memory is, like, low-key trash, especially when I put on the spot. I kind of, like, want to hear real quick. No. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I wasn't bugging. So it was mostly like screaming with uh, some singing inside the song. But I really like just hearing his like this cleans on a nice like a really nice instrumental. Like I think I really like that the way he, that he sounds on it. It's, it's pretty good, bro. Like I really like that. I like I like his singing, bro. I'm not gonna lie. The 
hear that part again because it sounds like you know uh they're together like the place called home they're like they're like strange inside their home so maybe like they're in a relationship but like maybe they don't feel as potent about each other anymore maybe that's something like what it is so i just want to go back and make sure that's like kind of what i heard It's kind of like the feeling I'm getting because like they're both thinking the same part and then like they're sitting far from each other. So like, you know, maybe they're together by circumstances at, at some point because maybe initially they did feel that way for each other. But it seems like the way they're singing it is like they're strangers in the place that we call home and like holding like kind of just like holding her when um she's going through it, but not really meaning it. I, I don't know if that's the right way that I'm getting it, but that's just like my first initial reaction just upon hearing it for the first time. So I could be wrong, though. So <laughs> don't, don't, hold, don't hold it against me if I'm wrong. But it kind of, it's kind of sounds like the way that they they go in with it. I freaking love her voice too. Her voice is so good. You can just hear how emotional this part is for like both of them like the characters they represent are just like are two people who like are, are really emotional about the segment right here and like they can't uh, they almost feel like they, they they don't understand the other person's feelings at this point in their relationship and they're like they're like that's why i did that part where it's like uh, do you even care means something because like i don't know if you've ever been like in a really like a um, long relationship but like when one person cares about another person uh uh, they and they lose feelings so it's just it's a weird it's a weird like um it's a weird thing to be a part of because like okay for example i was in a relationship for like four years and um i got to the point where uh where uh one of us lost our uh, feelings for each other um it was like more of the the my girl my ex my ex at the time she lost the, the, her their feelings weren't the same as um you know where i was at and like it just created a weird dynamic in that relationship to the point where like it eventually did end but um I, I've been through this kind of thing where it's just like you're not sure how the other person feels at this point because of like you know you guys have been there together for a long time and maybe um you felt it, uh, a little more stronger feelings for that person than he did for you so like it's weird when that kind of thing ends and like you're left alone with that kind of feeling if that makes sense that's kind of like I, I I definitely understand like you know this part right here this is actually a really good song too I'm not even gonna lie I really like the song like and I like how like this the screaming is just like a little sample of, 
in the song it's not like a, a big part of it and like you're actually hearing the emotion and what they're saying more because like they're, they're trying to get across a really good message here i really i really like this song i'm not gonna lie Even this part here where her eyes are just like looking at him as he's walking up almost like not really uh i wouldn't say disgust but it's more like just kind of like um eyeing him down like while he's walking up because he maybe those feelings are like you're not sure how the other person's feeling this is really good um acting see her eyes right there It's almost like you're uncomfortable if that makes sense i don't know if like that's the right way to say it but like when you look at somebody and they're kind of coming in and you just like have to like act a, a different way i don't know if that makes sense but you know She is so good at acting, bro, because like you can just feel emotion coming from her from the character she's representing in this one, right? Because even like the kind of like going like this and it's like being frustrated, like not able to to kind of convey what you're trying to put across. Like I really like the way she's acting in this video. Like and it really like brings it brings a little more of an emotion to what she's trying to say to to him. You know what I mean? Like she did a really good job in this video. And this is like right here is like kind of like representing like maybe they're going to try and work it out after, you know, that, that conversation. Because sometimes all it needs is the conversation to really get across each other. And like maybe you're just having a miscommunication and what you're uh, what's going on. Because like at the end of the day, like a lot of times in these relationships, the problems can be solved by just simply talking with each other. And if you can't, then you guys go your separate ways and then and be done with it. But at the end of the day, like it's more important to like when you're having an issue with, with a significant other, instead of just like trying to like um expect them to figure out like what is going on with you talk to them about it because like i can't tell you how many relationships i've been in where a, a, a issue between me and a girl could have been fixed if we just simply talked about it and that like um afterwards like we'll talk later maybe a few months later or years later and they'll be like oh this is my issue i'm like okay so if this was the issue then why didn't you just talk to me about it you know what i mean because like at the end of the day like if you're in a relationship with somebody that person should be the only person that you confide in you know what i mean like you go always it's cool like for you to have best friends and stuff like that and you confide in them with them but like the way you confide with your best friends versus what you can confide in with your significant other who sees you every day who who lives with you who eats with, who eats with you or like even if you don't live with each other like you, you guys talk to each other like on, on a regular basis more than you would talk to like a best friend per se unless that's a, that's like your your specific specific relationship with your best friend so a lot of the issues that could that pop up in a relationship aren't that big of a deal if you just sit there and talk to it and, and not just expect them to know and this goes both both ways for a girl and a female and, and, and a guy like it doesn't like matter which one you're talking about but a lot of times like okay people kind of like make it seem like it's more about the girl thing but there are things that guys do that kind of like are, are, are kind of the same thing but at the end of the day like if you could if you want to like solve the relationship your relationship and like if you're unsure of like the relationships you're in and that you're unsure if the other person cares about you the same way talk about it that's literally all you could do is talk about it by you not talking about it and just kind of letting it cruise through it gets worse and worse and worse because like you guys never deal with your feelings you never deal with like you know what's bothering you and then it gets to the point where like you guys have an argument that probably is a small argument and blows up and makes it way bigger than it needs to be 
like a lot of times like in relationships like small problems end up becoming big ones because you guys don't talk about it and because you guys aren't you know willing to put yourself you know make yourself vulnerable per se make it so especially this comes more in terms of guys being vulnerable because you know as guys like we don't like to show vulnerability or weakness to anybody because we feel like a lot of times like we'll be in these relationships and then like once we get vulnerable like that it gets to the point where after the guy gets vulnerable like you know something happens you guys break up but then they they tear you down like when you guys break up and like i've been in that position where like i've gotten vulnerable with a girl and that that happened to me before that's the only reason why like i i, I say that like now i'm more you know comfortable with like who i am as a as a man and shit so like it's easier for me to like deal with that kind of thing but back when i was a kid like i was emotional as shit bro i'm not gonna lie i was mad sensitive when i was a kid so like when something like that happened i didn't know how to deal with that particular situation and it got to the point where I was just like, all right, you know what? Maybe I should take a step back and just like do my, my, my feelings. That's like kind of like what happened with my ex. Like after that relationship for four years, I broke, I broke it off. And I'm like, um, I broke off all connection with her at that time. Um, and she did the same with me. And I just kind of focused on my own shit, going to the gym, taking myself out to eat, like to take myself out every Friday to do something. So I feel like, you know, I didn't really lose anything in particular. And I was building up my own self-esteem at that same time to that point where I didn't need to rely on another person. And like at that time, like, that's how it was. I was really emotional and really sensitive. And, um, you know, I was relying on another person for my happiness versus like being my own center of happiness and just like coming together and being happy with that person. Because like, at, at the end of the day, no no person should should take away your happiness. Like regardless, I mean, you could be sad and stuff like that, that you don't have that person, you know, around anymore because maybe you have a really good connection with them. But should never get to a point where you feel like you know life is not worth living for or like your relation that you can't be alone by yourself but anyways that's enough for me just ranting on about that kind of subject but this song was really good bro i really like this song i think this song was really really good i like the message in this it's really awesome bro. they did a great job bro they did a absolutely great job with this song like especially um uh, uh uh, Layla, I really liked the way her body language was in this song. I think she did a great job just per, per, just showing off, like, the emotions that a female would have in this kind of situation. And, like, you know, it's just really good. Like, the whole the whole song overall. And I actually, I really like the, singer, the, the singing in this song. Like, I like the singing versus the screaming. And, like, you know, obviously you guys know I, like, I love screaming. But, like, when you have a good clean song where it's just like you don't have to every song doesn't have to be that way where it's all like screaming and singing but this one having the majority of the singing and just convey the kind of message they were trying to convey is awesome bro this is, this is they did a great job bro all right anyways guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and i'll catch you guys in the next one i'm out of here peace